because we recently began studying histology. In this quick histology video, part of the quick series, we are going to review some useful mnemonics about the different tissues of the human body. Welcome to a brand new class on DNMD, where you can learn everything related about the basic sciences of medical knowledge and apply it to patient care in the future or right now. As we learned in the previous histology ABC, the epithelial tissue has extracellular matrix. But what is it made of? To remember its components, you can use the useful mnemonic HELP form collagen. The H is hyaluronic acid. The E is elastin. The L is laminin. The P is for proteoglycan. The F is for fibronectin. And finally, collagen is collagen. But as you might have already know, there are different types of collagen that create different types of tissue. So how can you remember those different types of collagen? Well, you can use these mnemonics. Collagen type 1 is found on bone. How do you remember that? Well, you use the letters that made up the word bone. As you can see, inside the word bone, you have also the word 1. Therefore, bone is made up of collagen type 1. Collagen type 2 creates cartilage. How do you remember? Well, you can pronounce it cartilage and write it with a T-W-O. Collagen type 2 creates cartilage. Collagen type 4. You can use the rhyme 4 under the floor. 4 meaning collagen type 4 and under the floor meaning the basement. The basement membrane that forms the inferior part of every epithelia is made up of mostly collagen type 4. And finally, talking about a different tissue, the muscular tissue, you should know that we have three types of muscle. Skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle is mostly voluntary, meaning that we control it, while smooth and cardiac muscles are involuntary and they contract on their own. But what are the differences? Well, the nuclei is one difference. The nuclei location mirrors where the muscle is located in the human body. So remember this useful mnemonic. Your heart muscle is in the middle of the body. So the heart muscle has the nucleus in the middle portion of the cell. While the skeletal muscles are mostly in the periphery of your body forming your muscles. So the nuclei of these cells are on the periphery. Also, you have only one heart, so usually there is one nucleus per heart muscle cell. But you have many skeletal muscles, therefore one long fiber of skeletal muscles has multiple nuclei, meaning that is multinucleated. And that's it for today's quick histology video. Don't miss out on the next video about ABC histology, where we will talk about the glands of the human body. Also, if you like the medical content that I create in my channel, you can also check out this new channel called SmartBrain. It's a new collaboration that I'm doing with Dr. Christian Molina, that is an OBGYN doctor also from Ecuador. SmartBrain will be about the clinical sciences of medicine. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's always for our patients. If you like this video and the content I make, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. With your help, I'm sure we can get free medical content to every corner of this world.